What's good, y'all? Well, this is this is Andy the Columbia Pinterest fan 2009 on YouTube here, and today today's reaction video is on, on Wednesday Wyatt's Wyatt's video explaining why he got banned on TikTok. So 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 and for, without further ado, let's get started. So I got banned from TikTok. Oh my God! Punch my mama in the throat, karate kick my daddy in the chest. What the? Hey yo! What hey, the up, heck? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while. But I'm back. Yes! 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 <laughs> As I'm sure you guys know from reading the title, and if you follow me on TikTok, I'm sure most of you have noticed, I got permanently banned. What God damn! God damn! Jesus! God damn! What? I heard of that! Really just to break down what happened, get my frustrations about TikTok out, and then I will answer some questions from y'all at the end. Okay, first off, why? Why did I get banned? If I don't want to censor, I have literally not the slightest clue. I was watching a Wade concept video, and I was enjoying my life. Wade's new haircut was making me sick to my stomach. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What bro, what is it? So I paused the video and I went to TikTok. I opened the app and boom. A message popped up on my screen. It said, your account has been permanently suspended for violating the community guidelines. You can either download your data or you can log out. At first, I thought it was a glitch or something because I literally haven't posted sorry for, on TikTok sorry for the bad in language. like four months. So I just closed the app and reopened it. When I reopened TikTok, I was logged out. I probably don't know this, but I'm one of those people who can't remember what I ate for breakfast today, let alone a password for an account I made two and a half years ago. So I go to my group chat of friends and I go, hey, I think my account just got banned. Can you check my TikTok? Then I got back the message I was praying not to receive. And I mean praying, y'all. I was like, what's up, Zeus? Hey, Jupiter, just check it in. How you doing, Jesus? Hey, Muhammad, it's been a minute. You know, I went to every god. None of them would help me. Oh my and god. I got back. Your account is gone. At this point, I didn't really freak out because I know what? sometimes Addison Ray has gotten banned a couple of times. Paige Taylor has gotten banned a couple of times. I was like, you know what? Just breathe. I know TikTok's email because I've filed a couple of copyright takedowns. Oh, by the way, all the people posting my content on TikTok without my permission, I'm going to put some accounts on the screen here and here. My videos are written, acted, and invented by me. I own the scripts and the intellectual property to the characters. So if you're posting my content, I'm coming for your What do you mean by that? <laughs> oh! Drink break! Anyways, back on track. I know TikTok's email address. They actually have a couple. So I typed up an email. Hey, I'm Lindsay Wyatt. My account has 3.7 million followers. It's been banned. Help. Blah, blah, blah. I sent it to two different emails, feedback at tiktok.com and legal at tiktok.com. Then I got back a very heartbreaking message. That is not good. This account is not monitored. Dang. Which means my only method of contact, my only chance for redemption. This is why TikTok my is only drunk. Hope just got flushed down the toilet. That oh email I just sent oh went heck no, nowhere. Man. Now, I know what some of y'all are thinking. Lindsay, you have 4 million followers. Some of your videos get more views than Charlie D'Amelio does. What? You have to have a phone number or someone you can call or a button to click because you're a big creator, right? Right? <laughs> hmm. Wrong. And it is this reason, coupled with many others, that TikTok will never surpass YouTube as a platform. You know what happens when YouTubers have a problem? They go to studio.youtube.com and they talk to a real person. Or they go on Twitter and they tag YouTube and guess what YouTube does? They respond. Y'all tagged TikTok in my video over 4,000 times. I went on Twitter and I went to TikTok's support page which is there to help seven days a week. You wanna know what they really do? After you message them six times, they message you back to click the help button in the TikTok app. They send you a copy and paste message, probably messaged to you by a robot. That's how TikTok helps its creators. They tell you to fill out this form with all your problems and they'll fix it for you. 
you, just one person, is supposed to be able to send a message, get a reply, and get help. Well, I put the link to that form on my Instagram, and over a hundred of you filled that form out. This is supposed to be how valued creators, people that make the content, people that make TikTok billions of dollars, this is how those creators are supposed to reach out, which is one message. We sent over a hundred messages and got zero responses. Oh my if God. If you're wondering why creator after creator goes from posting daily, being super original, super creative, <sighs> super passionate you freaking to posting once in a blue moon and then they start posting on youtube this is why tiktok treats us like we're trash like we're disposable they Dang, use your content bro. to make money while paying you basically nothing then when you're all used up they throw you in the trash tiktok at this point is going to slowly fireball into a machine that shits out old creators and brings Dang, them until bro. eventually everyone that would have been a tiktoker has already seen through the smoke screen and before they even get started on tiktok they're gonna go to other places like snapchat which pays you or youtube that treats you like a person or kick that lets you say whatever you want and be whoever you want to be maybe tiktok doesn't realize this but if you want to be a platform with user posted content you need users. Well, no fucking shit. I mean, it's plain as day to see. TikTok's biggest creators running to other platforms where they will be appreciated and more importantly, paid. Every genre of TikToker, whether it's comedy, Call Me Chris, Thirst Traps, Bryce Hall, commentary content, Madeline, the list goes on. TikTok treats its creators like shit and YouTube welcomes them in with open arms. Now to answer some of your questions, we've got a couple here. What are you going to do next? Um, if I'm being honest, I don't really know. I will probably still post on TikTok occasionally, but I think my days of being a TikToker are over. Um, I'm probably mainly going to focus on YouTube. Will grandma still be around? I'm going to go with probably. I'm probably not going to continue the skit series on YouTube because it just doesn't work the same with the algorithm of YouTube. I will I will still post the, the skits, the family skits occasionally, but that isn't going to be the focus of my content anymore. Oh. Someone asked, what's your favorite color? Blue. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because I'm going to be posting a lot more on YouTube. So hit the bell so you know when I post. Like this video, subscribe, all that good stuff. You can become a member by clicking the join button below this video. Get access to a bunch of exclusive shit. I love y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye. God, punch my mama in the throat, karate kick my daddy in the chest. What the fuck? Man, this video is crazy. Lindsay, went, Lindsay Wyatt got banned on TikTok for, for nothing. For absolutely nothing. That's ridiculous. All right, guys. This is me, Andy the Columbia Pictures fan, 2009 returns. Signing off. Goodbye.